Hey, this is Jen. I'm back again. I just posted a video less than an hour ago or so, but after I did so, I just received a bunch of answers. So here I am because it feels like I won't be able to um, relax for this weekend unless I put this information out there. So here I am doing it. Remember how everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people in the spiritual uh, community was talking about the event not too long ago, a few months ago, around March or so. And then nothing happened. Well, I've always disagreed that nothing happened. If you look back at my videos back then, I'm saying the event is happening. So I got a few more answers on that aspect. It is happening, the event is happening, but for the event to take place on a higher level and a mass level, we need to come together even more. And perhaps that's why I was guided to talk about the October 24th being the oneness day. I'm not saying this is when the event is gonna happen, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying, look, this is the information I'm seeing right now and it rings true to me. Last week, I was asking questions. I was wondering, what is the missing piece for the community and the people to come together, for the Twin Flames to come together? What is holding people back? There is resistance in the collective. There is a lot of blocks and blockages that are not being viewed and managed and taken care of. And I ended up watching a video. There's this channeler saying, talking about the event, he was saying the event will occur at the 144 code. And during that video, they didn't know what the 144 code meant. But to me, it was like obvious. Because this channel is not about Twin Flames, this channel is about quantum healing, the event, anything at a quantum level, which the Twin Flames are. Uh, my message in, in this video is that it's time for Twin Flames to move, to stop focusing on their twins only, and to go reach that level of quantum energy, quantum oneness. This is how things are going to move. We need to let go of it's happening, uh, people are awakening, and, and do the real work. Just do the real work, which is happening globally on a quantum level. So the code 144, and I got in touch with this guy from the, the channel, and I was like, to me, it hit me like a ton of bricks. As soon as you said code 144, to me it was the Twin Flames. And it was the bridge in between the spiritual communities that need to come together. So anyone from the quantum healing community coming together with the Twin Flames and embracing the, these communities as one because we all have part of the knowledge and it's by being together and bringing the knowledge and the messages together that we will get the entire message. That's what I believe. That's what is ringing true in my heart at this point. I resonate with that and I believe a lot of people will resonate with that. If you've been wondering what was going on with the event, that's what's going on. Um, and mind you, it, it, it feels a bit weird to be talking about this right now because I've changed so much in the past couple of weeks. So quickly, things have shifted drastically. And here I am saying, oh, the event is happening. I've always said that it was happening. And I wasn't part of these people who were saying, no, people are not ready for that. It's not gonna happen. It is happening. And I just received that message that communities need to come together. And it makes sense when you think about it, because if each community is talking about 
we're all one, we're at oneness, we're all linked to one another and related to one another, but they're not willing to look at what this other community has as a message, as a knowledge, well, we'll be going down the wrong path here. I believe that the people of science do have part of the message. People who are uh, quantum healers, quantum pr practitioners do have part of the message and Twin Flames do have part of the message. The, the 144 code is for the 144,000 Twin Flames. It's when they come together, not necessarily as physical union, but together as one, one internally, individually, that the event will happen. So it's really important to let go of projecting on your twin flame. He's not doing this. He's not doing that. She is still in the relationship. Do the work. They'll get, get out of the relationship. Do the work. They will stop doing what they're doing because they will have no other choice but to follow your lead. They will have no other choice but to come into their truth as you come into your truth. And I'm sorry, I don't want to sound intense here, but this is where we're at. And it just needs to happen. It needs to happen so that people that are have been acting as leaders, have been acting as truth seekers, um, so that their knowledge is being known, integrated, and put into action or practice or balance into the physical world. This is the point of the event, is to heal everyone on Earth, to heal the planet, maybe not everyone, because some people, I believe, some people will stay asleep. That's just a belief. I may be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, but some people will, will stay asleep. That, I'm seeing it. I believe some people will stay dead asleep. You know those people that almost feel like they're robots? Like they have no, they don't process their emotions. They don't do anything. To me, it's like these people are not human. And if you listen to other communities, some people will say, oh, those are ETs and whatnot. And I don't know, because I don't know about the ET stuff. I've been educating myself on it. Some of the things that is out there about ETs sound very true. And I believe it's time to integrate all of this together, not only specifically to the ETs, but on a quantum level. You know, when we speak about the central sun, the central sun is the zero point. It is the central point of the universe where we all need to connect because this is where the information is coming from. This is source, source energy. We, when we meditate, this is where we need to connect to receive the information, to be protected, to act in our divine truth, to embody those vibrations and frequencies in order to influence others to embody them as well. And not influence, because they using that word may have a negative aspect to it, and this is not this is not how I mean it. Influenced by being an example lead by example, by embodying all those universal truth, all those universal teachings from the very wise people that came before us, including Jesus, including the hermetic principles, the scenes, including a lot of people that were there before us. They came before. They left clues. And now it's our job, because we're alive today, it's our job to put the pieces back together and make the puzzle, to see what the final image is, to see if it's the same thing as um, the one on the box, you know? So yeah, short video. I just wanted to say the event is happening and 
in order to take it to the next level, we need to integrate and learn about other spiritual communities to come as one big community, just one big spiritual community. All right, take care. Bye-bye.